Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for your daily love, peace and happiness general tarot reading for all of my brothers and sisters of humanity. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic. I am the owner of Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio and Love, Peace and Happiness Tarot in Las Vegas, Nevada. I do these tarot donations because I love humanity. I love my brothers and sisters. We are all one. We are all connected. And um, I believe that if we use our skills and talents um, to benefit one another, that not only will people run to you with funds that they want to contribute to you, you will feel a lot more satisfaction in your life. Uh, at least that's been my experience. I do personal readings by request. You could send those by PayPal. You send a donation according to what is the value of the information to you. And um, in the comment section, put in your clear and specific question. I will reciprocate back to you a reading of equivalent energy to your donation. And if your donation is $60 or more, I'll give you the option to do that reading real time, whether it's by the phone, live stream, or in my Las Vegas studio. If your donation is less than $60, you will receive a YouTube upload of your reading. And unless you specifically state otherwise, your name will be held confidential during the reading, although the reading is tailored to you. And I do have a one to three day turnaround and I reserve the right to refuse services. I also would appreciate your support on my artist page on Facebook and, and also on my YouTube channel, both by the name Melinda Nail Fanatic. Thank you so much for tuning in and today I'll be using, uh, I've been using this for so long, Color Your Tarot by Lazine, set that aside, and the Phantasmagoric Tarot, Theater Tarot, I will be pull, pulling one card from that deck for clarity. And I will also be using my own custom Words of Clarity deck if you would like to order one of those. They are custom channeled one at a time. I don't have a stamp or anything. I individually cut each card out and design each card for each um, person who requests a deck. So, now, thank you, thank you, thank you, Love Source God, for allowing me to receive and deliver these divine messages from my brothers and sisters of humanity who are viewing this reading at this time or at some present time for in regards to September 11th, 2016. This one right here stands out to me. This one, and this one, okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, crossed by the Two of Pentacles, and the Emperor as an outcome. We have two fours. And we have two eights because eight and eight. Okay. So four of Pentacles, mm, it means that it has several different meaning, meanings. And so since this is a general reading for some of you, Different re different parts of these meanings are going to resonate differently to all of you. For very few of you, everything is going to resonate. But for most of you, you can pick apart which parts resonate most for you. Four of Pentacles. For somebody, it's about an inheritance that you've been expecting that is going to be coming in. Um, when this inheritance comes in, and remember, this is the energy of September 11th, 2016. What it also means is that, um, or what I'm also trying to bring to your consciousness is that sometimes there are things happening underneath the scene, away from your, your own viewpoint, outside of your perception for you. 
So sometimes you'll sit there and watch these readings and say, these things don't resonate to me. But if you would just hold the heck on in, in the future, at some point you might have to actually go back and find the video for whatever day because you might receive some documentation in the future that's dated September 11th, but you won't get it until September 18th or something like that. Anyhow, so given that, somebody, there's an inheritance coming to you, and that's what this means, whether it's a actual inheritance from a person that you know or don't know, whether it's an inheritance from um, something that you were aware existed in your behalf or did completely unaware of, it's there. And it's going to help you um, feel greater ease. It's going to help you feel more relaxing and flow with life. It's going to help you to find balance so much easier in your life and it's going to give you a position where your authority you're going to be able to take action on all of your dreams and wishes that you've been having all this time that felt like they're stagnant or at a standstill for somebody else this is about feeling like there's not enough okay feeling like there's not enough and feeling like it's paycheck to paycheck all the time and you're so tired of it being paycheck to paycheck. Well, what you have to understand is you've got to find a way to make it easier in your mind and Love Source God is saying, I know it's hard, my dear, and I know you've been doing this juggling act for so long, but I need you to um, just sit a while on the thought of how things could go better, how how things are going good in some aspect right now, and communicate that more strongly, because that's going to help remove you from the frustration and put you in a love vibration that will allow the manifestation of the things that you're wanting to come into your life. And so love is the key to opening up all of the desires and the beautiful creations that you would love to live in your life. So Love Source God says, my child, please sit in a place where you are the authority over your life. You're giving your power away to circumstances by saying, well, it's because I grew up this way. It's because I don't know this. It's because I don't know that. It's because they don't let me. It's because, and all of these different excuses are taking away your power. And that's a, a choice that you have. And it's a, a power that you can take back. It's something that you don't have to allow to continue. And it's about your self-communication. It's about the way you're communicating um, to others about who and what you are. And in the Phantasmagoric Theater, now we have the Nine of Wands showing up. And that's um, about being at a max capacity with your, which is why you're feeling some frustrations in finances. Because you've got so much going on. The advice in that is for you to allow others to contribute. And if they're not contributing, it may be time to cut their asses off. Ex no, don't excuse my language. I never speak by mistake. Anyhow, yes. If you're carrying the weight of somebody, it may be time because you're feeling like you're being sawed in half to try to take care of all of these different people and responsibilities. Honey, it's time to cut some of it off. And even if that's some, something as simple as having the, um, the people that you live with take care of more home responsibilities so you can be better rested, so you could be in a better headspace when you go to this job, so you can be able to make more sales or have a better commission or just have a better day and get better tips. Whatever that is for you, for some of you, it's about being more creative. It's about opening up your creative space and um, doing that because you've put down some of these external burdens of others because they're just looking at you. They're just standing around looking at you while you're going through twisting and torturing yourself. And everybody wants to take their piece of you.
but it is about you. You're doing it all on your own. You don't have to be doing it all on your own. You can be receiving some assistance from those who you are benefit benefiting. The two of uh, um, the the two the high priest just comes in here, and she says to us. You need to follow your inner guidance system. You need to get in touch with your soul self. And you need to get back to your spirituality. Prayers will be good for you. But we don't want to be in prayers of, oh, woe is me. And, oh, life is so horrible. Rather, Love Source God is looking for you to get in touch with your own wealth, your own power, your own ability, your own talents, your own blessings. And so Love Source God is here saying for you to use your imagination creatively to make a more importance the things that are, are available to you, the things that you do have in life. Uh, understanding that this is not an external struggle. This is actually an internal struggle that you've externalized because it has become so strong internally. And if we can get this work done internally... It's going to reflect in your life outwardly. It's about making a balance between the physical and the spiritual and making them equal so that infinity energy can flow around it that will allow for your finances to match your inner emotions, which they are right now because you're feeling like you don't have enough. And the reason why is because you're feeling like you're doing too much for other people and no one else is helping you and they're all standing around watching you and you're trying to do it with a positive attitude. Now for somebody else, I'm also getting the message that yes, um, you've been holding a little tight but you're trying to open up and you're doing so from a positive headspace. You are seeing the positivity and the blessings in your life and you're moving forward in allowing your energy to flow, your finances to flow, your creativity to flow. And so this is because you are receiving, oh, this is because you're receiving divine guidance. I also just had another message rush in for somebody. You're receiving communication from the spirit realms, from a passed on um, fatherly person, a grandfather, father. He could be of any sign. Um, he could be of an Aries sign. And this communication that you're getting is to help guide you. And it, you're getting it because you've been opening up this spiritual connection here that the two the high priestess speaks of and so it's getting stronger your clairvoyance is getting stronger your insight is getting stronger your telepathic communication is getting stronger and most importantly all of that is getting strong stronger because of the trust you have in yourself is getting stronger and so expect communication from your father your grandfather your male loved person who has transitioned to the spirit realm and the communication that you're going to get is going to be in regards to this um, responsibility that you've been holding. And I'm feeling like this is in regards to your family life. You're carrying a lot of responsibilities and the communication that you get is going to be one that's going to help you open up the channels for greater abundance to come in. And it could even be for you that it could be as simple as Receiving this communication just helps you feel so much better that it allows you to move into a more prosperous headspace. So thank you for watching my reading. Thank you for all the likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you for telling your friends and family. Thank you for all the hearts on Periscope. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being alive. Thank you for being you know, and thank you for loving, and thank you for sharing, thank you for smiling, and thank you for waving to random strangers you don't know with a smile on your face, and love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course me and mine, until next time.